हेलो जस गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग एवरीबॉडी आबीर सो टुडेज टॉपिक इज फॉर मोस्टली मोस्टली फॉर बिगिनर्स of you are beginners okay i will give you some tips regarding practice and those who don't have any guidance i would request you people to find a teacher and learn step by step because it is the most important thing it will save you a lot of time okay so assuming that here we have people from early beginner to you know with some experience early inter not intermediate just before reaching intermediate so in your practice routine what do you should have you know whatever level you may be uh you should do finger exercises more that's the first thing if people writing they know basic chords even if you want to play chords you have to do this okay so i'll just give you a few ideas for finger exercises because however boring it may sound to people but this is what that is going to make your chord playing and any form of playing you know better and also it will help you with the scales so that you can you can play solos as well so first exercise that everyone should practice you know no matter what level you are at is a chromatic exercise and there will be different exercises for different level of players but for absolute beginners you know you have to get the fingers started so different variations you can take you can start with three fingers for example if you are starting out and here the way you practice the chromatic exercises is very important because if you practice in the wrong way then it's of no use so what you need to do you know in order to play it properly you should make sure that you are not lifting off the fingers this is wrong so most of the people do because keeping the fingers is a bit difficult and that's what the motive of this exercise is see i'm not lifting off the fingers so you can do it with three fingers from first second and third fret and here the thumb position is very important you know and i'll be sharing some exercises from my book guitar from scratch you know so those who are interested can get 10% off just uh, leave the info of the video so you can play this exercise this is very simple 1 2 3 but how you play it makes a huge difference so keeping the thumb in the right place so it is also for the guitar players who play chords and have been playing for some time you know like some experienced beginners so keeping the thumb is very important so i'll talk about the the thumb as well so when you are playing a chromatic exercise we generally keep the thumb at the center of the working area for example if my chromatic is 1 2 3 then i will keep the thumb in such a way three, three frets somewhere between and i'll always make sure this area is clear see i'm bending my wrist so this is awkward initially so 
where the fingers come like this, you know, like a claw. So if you don't make it like a hook, then later on your chords will sound muted. This is a common problem for beginners, so nothing wrong with it, but you should know how to overcome it. Okay, so these few tips, you know, how you keep your thumb and all, and you can have a lot of chromatic exercises everywhere you can find. So first with three fingers and strictly alternate picking. Then four fingers and then you come up with different combinations. You can also create your own combinations. Like if I call this one, two, three, four. Then one, three, two, four. One, three, two, four. One, three, two, four. One, three, And you can do the reverse as well, like four, two, three, one. Sorry, one. So you can come up with different, you know, combinations. And now, once you get a lot of ideas about chromatic exercises, then what you need to do, you have to fix a routine. You know, every time when you sit for guitar practice, first ten minutes should be. Chromatic exercise, whatever exercise, whatever type of chromatic you want to take, you can take, but do it very slowly with a metronome. Okay, you can start a metronome, for example, and this concept is applicable for anybody who's been playing for a long time as well. You know, you need to start practicing with the metronome because later on you face a lot of problem. I faced personally a lot of problems. Still, I have to work on the metronome. So, for example, if I take a particular beat like 72 beats per minute one two three four so i can just play one note per beat how you need to work and if you want to speed up then you can take two notes per beat one and two and three and four and And now, if you want to, you know, learn tunes on your own that people teach on the internet, for that you need to first start with the basic scale shape. The C major scale is the best scale to learn. Anyway, so. So in, in this book, I have, you know, while uh, teaching the scale, I have taught a tune, which is so after you practice the major scale, then this is actually a part of Mozart's 25th uh, symphony. sounding thing and this is this music you you have heard in the commercial by you know titan i guess so this is nothing but the c major scale okay. using these notes only so you have c d e f g a b c so you need to work on the scales Sorry, B, C, so you have to take the B here as well, you know, B, C, low. So, so if the tabs are here in the book, you know, those who want to get it, you, you can check the link. So it's a very short tab. But if you want to, you know, uh, play scales properly, this is a very good exercise to get you started. 
and then you know once you learn this then you learn other shapes so throughout the neck you need to learn the major scale and then you know once you start practicing the things and you listen to a song and a random song going on then you figure out few notes matching then your fingers already know you know if you can figure out the notes then it's very easy to find out the scales like uh, which scale the song is in and then what are the notes of the song so this is a part of the muscle memory so the finger guides you so those who don't practice this they don't have a clue but once you practice for 5 months 6 months a long time then automatically even if you are trying to learn a solo your fingers will follow because the finger knows the sounds and the the shapes so this is very important to learn the major scale and while learning the major scale there are a lot of things you need to keep in mind for example you need to have uh, the diagrams of the scale so that you know that this is the root this is the third fifth seventh second third fourth sixth okay so it creates an image in your head and which is very useful you know later on to if you are improvising and also learning tune so these few things you know are very important and i'll talk a little bit about strumming also like if you have any questions you can ask me so get started with your scales and you can also check out my course major scale from scratch where i discuss different techniques you can use to practice the scales and learn the scales properly so in details you know we have taught i have taught basically the scale shape then sequencing patterns which you can practice because these are also very important and a few days back i was sitting with a friend who is a flautist so he was also talking about you know when you learn scales so you have to do sequencing patterns like very slowly so re ga re ga ma ga ma pa 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 ma pa ga pa so i am not good with the sa re ga ma terminology but since he is an indian classical player so he was saying this and he gave me few exercises which i have to practice like i'll show you one so this is for ear training you know sa ga re re ma ga ga pa ma pa da pa pa ri da da sa ni ni re sa so the more you do this you know you develop the ears and learning tunes also becomes very easy so this is one pattern for example you can do sa re ga re ga ma ga pa pa ma pa ga pa da di da di sa you won't have to be a singer because i'm not a singer i sing out pitch but trying this with whatever level you have it helps so these few sequencing patterns you can write it down sa re ga re ga ma and so on so the series goes on in the same pattern and the one i learned from him recently is sa ga re re ma ga ga pa basically you are skipping one note and coming back to the previous one so number wise it's 1 3 2 2 4 3 3 5 4 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 you have to try but don't write down the pattern he strictly told me to don't do it try to remember this in your head then only when you hear because when you uh, come across indian classical musicians you know some music is going on they'll tell you that this is sa this is dha this is what this is what not so but guitar players you know we are into shortcut so we don't develop that so it's very important whatever level you may be you can always develop this because these things we don't practice too fast we practice very slowly however fast you may play it doesn't really matter okay so this was some ideas to develop your you know soloing and 
your training because they're simple things which takes a lot of time to develop. And now I think I'll talk a little bit about strumming. So if you have any problems, you can write to me now. Then I might explain if you have any problem with strumming. Otherwise, I'll give you some tips. There is not much people are watching today. So I'll start with very basic. So many people face a lot of problem with the right hand. So when you are strumming, in short, the right hand movement should have two uh, things going. One is the arm movement and one is the wrist movement. So if you just stop doing one of them, it won't be as comfortable. So if I don't move my wrist, if I just move my hand, then see, uh, I have to cover a long distance. But if I start moving the wrist, my arm is not moving that much. Everyone should practice, you know, those who are new, I'm talking to them actually. Those who have got it down, it's fine. And similarly, upstroke also, when the hand is moving up, I have seen people doing while making upstrokes, they move their hand. Like, don't rotate your hand like this. When you are playing up strokes, the count should be one and two and three and four and, and following this, you can come up with a lot of strumming patterns. Like if I take one, two and three, four and, and after one pattern, you know, after completion of four beats, like one, two and three, four and or whatever pattern you are taking, change chords. So always form a chord progression with four chords and work on it. For example, if we take a very basic one, C, A minor, And while you are, you know, strumming also, make sure that your chord, you're, you are switching the chords properly. And if you are taking too much time to switch chords, then slow down your strumming. This is very important because the thing should work perfectly. Then only your speed may increase. So if one of the things is not happening in time, then you are mastering a mistake, which is not going to help you. So if I can play the strumming pattern at this tempo. But I can't switch the chord, then I'll slow it down based on how fast I can switch. Based on the speed of my left hand, I'll set the right hand rhythm. So if I can switch at this tempo, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, then my tempo will be like this. One, two, and This is about you know basics of strumming that this is the way you should practice and also one thing you should practice you know what whenever you are learning a new strumming pattern just mute the strings and say whatever you are playing loudly it, it's very important because our hands start playing but we are unable to say so for example if I listen to a strumming pattern some people are watching so if you are not asleep tell me this strumming pattern I 
want the strumming pattern. This is not reggae in any means. Reggae has got a different vibe. Anybody who knows, please write down whatever I played. What did I play? So this strumming pattern, how should we, you know, say this strumming pattern? watching nobody is learning what I see but anyway I'll leave this video for people to later on come back there are many people who may may not know that this thing is going on it might help so let me assume that I'm creating a video with nobody in front of me pattern is this tell me the count is in four or in three Writing in downs won't uh, the question is different now. So how many beats are there? You are right in a way. So see basically I'm playing finger style, so you cannot say this is down and up. So this is three. The vibe that is going on is one, two, three, one, two, three. So these things you need to be aware of basically. You know, the thing is going on in four or in three because there are a lot of music that is in three. Four is quite standard, obviously. The odd numbers are difficult. Play four, for example. Anyway, 
any questions there is only one person who is talking others are sleeping maybe or so i keep the live streams for people you know if they have any questions or facing any problem Mostly we have covered, and nobody has got any queries. And this live stream is for you know answering your questions, not random topics coming up. So I think almost we are in 30 minutes mark. So if you still have something, you can ask me. So we have two and a half minutes roughly. Somebody saying hello, hello. finger doesn't become the finger tips become hard so this is not any question related uh, related to guitar playing this is a medical question rather so it happens to everybody i don't know why but it's good the more harder your finger tips become you get a good tone <laughs> chords of a song so this is not a one minute thing so these things i have explained in my course basic theory so if you just check the link below because there is a lot of concepts that you need to know and if you are not open to purchasing the course then what you need to know is how scales are formed just write down the topics and figure out on your own because there are a lot of things you need to know in one minute or in one session it can't be explained for that you need to know notes of a major scale and then what are the chords inside a major scale and then accordingly you know when you listen to a song you have to figure out which scale it is for that you need to rigorously practice scales then you will be able to find out you know when a song is playing or going on just figure out which scale it is in and then once you dis discover the scale then you need to use the theory of what are the chords in the scale and then you have to use your ears which takes a lot of experience and practice and then you figure out what are the chords of the song at least this is how most of the people do and i also do a long process there somebody is writing finger exercises i already talked about finger exercises so but maybe if you are not there i'll just quickly show you a few ideas work with first four fingers <laughs> different combinations this is a basic one then you can take different combinations like 1 3 2 4 1 3 2 4 and with a metronome obviously and then what you can do you can take different string combinations so these exercises are taught in my book guitar from scratch if you have already taken it you know this one the link is below you can get 10% off use the code so everything is there from very basic to you know the beginner level thing and there are a lot of exercises like this is one, another one where you go diagonally and with sweet picking but you need to practice very slowly so this is how you can create your own exercises av thank you if you have questions you can ask me now 
or maybe next time so keep track of friday 9 pm indian standard time so whenever i am live this is the time i sit so between 9 to 9:30 i'll be live so every week it's not possible for me but whenever i'm sitting this is the time so those who are practicing and facing problem you can ask me questions you know here because the live streams are meant for helping you out you know me playing a song is not going to help you in any way you can go to youtube and listen to some great artists i'm not a singer so it's absolute wastage of time for you listening to somebody who sings like shit can we standard tune the guitar without using any tuner but memory if you have perfect pitch then definitely you can perfect pitch means you know if sound is going on a car horn you hear you know that this is a g note it needs to be developed and otherwise you know the indian classical music musicians they have the tanpura going on and they know which uh, scale it is in for example the tanpura is giving the i think pa sa and which note i don't know because i'm not in indian class but pa and sa is there for sure they know that c sharp they tune it to c sharp so then they are playing a pa and then sa and stuff like that so sa is c sharp and pa is fifth of c sharp that is g sharp so most of the people need a reference because in the world very few people have uh perfect pitch because you in order to develop relative pitch also you have to work so hard for example if you play and if you ask somebody to play what is the fifth most of the people don't know because they need to develop so if i play g this it should sound like this pa see so in order to get this information in my head it took me a, such a long time because it's so difficult to figure out and if you play a c and if i have to play uh, i have to play the e note by hearing this this is relative pitch basically i i have the reference of c but i have to sing um, e note c e i'm not playing the e note before and listening to it and singing to you c e g c e g p i know very little you know some people they know all the notes so it takes a lot of time c e g p might not be a perfect in pitch but at least the note is there because i'm not a vocalist so if you have this thing this is the first thing to develop then you can listen to you know without listening to or without any tuner you can tune your guitar which brand acoustic guitar for buying based on your budget generally you know in india yamaha guitars are really good because they offer good quality at a decent price so i have a yamaha also i have two yamahas basically one electric guitar and one acoustic guitar which is kept for uh, institutes purpose in calcutta <laughs> so that's it so if you are interested in you know training your ears with the intervals and start with two intervals for that major scale you have to learn there is no shortcut to it so first the easiest of all the intervals is the fifth it's very easy to recognize the fifth so 1 and 5 sa pa sa so you have to play this thing over and over in all keys for example c sharp g sharp c sharp g sharp g sharp c sharp Sorry, C G C G G C G C. Then C sharp, G 
So first you, you won't be able to sing. You have to listen to the sound and then sing. You have to do throughout. You work with the fifth and then the fourth. Sa -ma -ma -sa. It's a lot of work. It might take you a few years to just get to a few intervals. If you are interested, it's very important. People should know. I don't know about gym. I have seen few students using. I didn't like. Court is also good. I have two court guitars. The one, this one. This is. I'll write down the model because many people ask me. But this this guitar is SFX one. If not much available these days. And chord, the ent entry level one they have AD810. That one I have because it, it's, it has got a very thick neck. So most of my friends were unable to play it, you know, because it's so difficult. Initially, I also had problem, but later on I got used to it because that is the I had that guitar only. That was the only one I. Yeah. I can't say worth buying or not. See, basically, each and every guitar is unique, you know. Even if you get uh, same guitar, you know, same model from a shop, it might feel different. So that's why you have to try and see whether that is a good guitar or not. Because uh, once I went to a store for a friend, so we, we bought a cord. So the, the shop owner was telling me because they were my friends only. We know each other because I've been going to their shop for a long time and all. So they said they don't buy this guitar, so they it has problem. But that, that guitar was sounding so good. So eventually we bought this. You are there, you'll take care of it if something happens wrong. So we bought it. And still that guitar is so good. So it depends, you know. Do you have any plans to come up with any new course in your future? Yes, I have some plans for courses. But at the moment I'm occupied. So those who are, you know, really interested in not paying anything but getting things for free, then I have another channel which I'm actively working on, but that is that channel is for non-Bollywood. So if you are interested in Bollywood, I won't recommend you to go and subscribe to my channel because I don't want to have people who are not getting benefited from something, but yet they are present in order to increase my subscriber count. I don't want that. So this is the channel, you know. So if you are into, if you want to get into soloing and stuff and some English songs as well. But this is, this channel is mostly focused on the theory, how you can improvise. So feel free to check it. And those who are into Bollywood also, because some people, they only listen to Bollywood music because they don't have any exposure. They don't have any uh, teachers. So when I went to my teacher, you know, he used to give me a lot of songs, tell me, listen to this, listen to that. And most of the songs first at first listen I never liked, but later on I fell in love with it. And there was a time, you know, I could hardly listen to Bollywood songs. I would like go crazy if in a party or anywhere Bollywood songs are going on. So no, I'm leaving and this is not the place I want to like to hang out. So you can watch those videos and if you are getting some new things, learning some new things from it, you know, new sounds you're getting, you're exploring then it will be really helpful because most of the questions that you people ask that how we are going to learn the songs on our own, how to play a solo and whatever. So those things doesn't come from learning Bollywood songs. So for that you need to, you know, study guitar separately or study music. So that channel is basically, I'm planning to build up so that the beginner players who are facing problem with improvisation or you see recently I uploaded a video, the second last video that I uploaded one of our students 
you know he was playing something you know he he has learned the skills and trying to improvise so he sent me the video i said okay i'll send you myself you know many years back and this is the same thing i used to do you know i know the scale and you know running around wild with without any motive so that is that video is quite long 37 minutes i believe it became too long but i tried to discuss and these videos you know are going to help a lot of serious people who really want to get into it so that channel is for those people so if you are not interested in falling in love with the instrument then that is not recommended for you enjoy whatever i am sharing in my bollywood hindi channel to be precise so anyway i think uh, we are late 12 minutes over time one last question then i'll finish it off when i put kepo to play god as per the song mentioned i didn't feel the actual chord matches with the song required what to do see it depends i cannot tell you if the song doesn't matches so it, if it doesn't match it might be you are not able to hear or your guitar is not tuned so there might be 10 cases why it's not matching and sometimes what happens you know we simplify the songs and if your ears are not ready for example if i play this is a g but here the g will sound a little different but both are g so what happens if the original song the guitar player plays a g here in this shape and your guitar teacher asks you to put a capo here which means you play a c major chord here and you get a g so it will sound like this so if you are not much experienced then you find that the sound is different and also there might be another reason which initially when i started learning songs on my own i faced a lot of problem i have to listen to a song for 2 3 days same song going mad you know one part i can't understand what's going on so later on i understood what used to happen in uh, in a song there a lot of things going on like the bass guitar and different you know fills are being played for example if somebody is playing and other guitar player is doing this so both the sounds merge together and gives a completely different sound so if your ears are not experienced then you won't be able to extract this you know because a lot of things are going on the bass player is go doing like this maybe and other guitar player doing so this might be a reason so you need to practice properly and increase your level you know raise yourself from where you are then things will i think fall in place so most importantly as i mentioned before do the ear training thing work with each and every interval music music is a subject it's not like that you won't know anything and you start playing learning five chords so it doesn't work you have to understand music learn music then only you will be able to decode it so you want to you know do experiment like albert einstein and you don't know 1 plus 1 2 you need to understand that first so your targets most of the people they want to do a lot of stuff unrealistic goals so this is a problem so in between there is a huge space that is empty you have to fill it up my pinky finger uh, faces problem while facing it does it pain there was a pain in my finger you know i couldn't play guitar for almost a month it's good sign now i play better than i used to play then this thing got me you know out of the game for almost a month because this was not happening and i was like it has to happen i'm not giving you a reason so the more you practice it it gets stronger so work 
think that you don't have these two fingers or if you are a smoker then put a cigarette here and do your chromatic with these two the more you do this thing will grow stronger anyway i think we are done for today and those who don't have any guidance want to have this book you know with the videos and stuff please check out the link below you know guitar from scratch you can get 10% off if you are using cc avenue and if you don't want to pay anything then you visit my website tamsguitar.com or musiccircle.in just find the syllabus that we follow because that is a genuine thing you know which you can follow and get ahead get the topics and learn from wherever you can either from for free or find a teacher it's very important and those who want to you know join our institute and learn from us on skype because we've got a lot of faculty members we teach can get in touch you know with us through our mail id anyway thanks for watching and next friday i'm not sure whether next friday i'll be live or not but however this is the time 9 pm friday make a note of it and if you just check at 9 or 9 30 pm on uh, friday and if you see i'm live just come in and ask your questions if you're facing any problem i'll try my best to help you out all right anyway good night guys thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you soon maybe next Friday I don't know